So the first thing we want in this problem is to find the specific rate constant. So we'll just use the Arrhenius equation here. K equals AE to the negative EA over RT. And we can plug in our frequency factor, 1.6 times 10 to the 14th. Our activation energy, which is 249,000 when converted to joules per mole. Our R value is 8.314 joules per mole, and our temperature is 710 Kelvin. And so therefore, our frequency factor is 7.7 .7 times 10 to the minus fifth. And that's our final value for letter A. Now for letter B, we'll start out with our first order rate law, integrated rate law, that is. Ln of A equals negative Kt plus Ln of A initial and we want to find what percent decomposes um, after uh, 15 minutes and so we will find our a value we'll plug in for k 7.7 .7 times 10 to the minus fifth and then our t in seconds 900 seconds and then we'll call our initial concentration 1. And when we do that and we solve for the value of A, we get 0 0.9333. And so, actually I have one too many threes there, 0 0.93. And so if we take our initial amount 1 minus our final amount, we get that uh, 0 0.9333. Zero six six nine five uh, decomposed. So therefore, six point seven zero percent has decomposed. Now, there's another part of this question, uh, letter B, that gives us um, a different rate constant and asks us to find the temperature at that rate constant. So we can use the relation ln of k1 minus ln of k2 equals 1 over t2 minus 1 over t1 times ea over r. And we can plug in these values. We have our rate constants, uh, 1.54 times 10 to the minus fourth. So this is if the rate constant is doubled. And so we're looking for our T2, and our T1 is 710 Kelvin. And then our activation energy, 249,000 joules per mole. Our R value, 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin. And when we rearrange all of this and solve for T2, we get that our answer is 722 Kelvin. And that's the final answer.